Thanks very much, Oslo. Yeah, we're going to continue talking about sustainability with two more guests who uh, care deeply about this and how, as we've been hearing, uh, we know the construction industry could be doing more uh, to limit its emissions. So we're going to be finding out about some of the strategies behind that. So please put your hands together to welcome our next two speakers to the Stockholm stage, Symmetry's CTO, Miko Vietele, and we'll also be hearing from Eric Björn, Business Development Manager for the Nordics at OneClick LCA. Yep. Hello, everyone. Uh, Eric and me, we are here uh, to talk about uh, how we as a technology providers can help you and uh, construction industry to carbonize, uh, decarbonize. Uh, we are doing this presentation together, and we have only one rule. So who has the clicker can talk. So I will start. So uh, we have four areas that we're going to touch today. First, it's a bit of background. We're calling that focus, but it's more like our business drivers, how we have built up our decarbonization offering and what are our plans ahead. Then after that, we're going to uh, talk about carbon limits in Nordic countries and also in the UK. Uh, solutions uh, actually to help, uh, help you to decarbonize uh, the construction projects. And, and then uh, finally, uh, business benefits. So let's start by focus first. This is an important slide for us. It's, there's only one uh, number, and that's 1.5 degrees, and that's basically the level of the global warming that what is set in the Paris Agreement. Is that reachable or not? We definitely don't know. But uh, the climate scientists of the United Nations just uh, released their latest climate report on Friday. Sad reading, quite de depressing, actually. But uh, what the, the only positive indication what you can get out from that report is actually that based on the current policies, uh, the estimated global warming will be from 2.5 degrees to 3 degrees. It's more, of course, than the set 1.5 uh, degrees target, but it's less than was previously anticipated. And that anticipation was from 3 to 5 degrees. So it's improvement, thanks to uh, current policies. We have still one degree to go, and it means that the policies will be tighter. And all, that, all those policies and the challenge is in construction industry. It's in head of us, in head of you. And we truly believe that technology can help you with that challenge. If we look at some key numbers in construction industry, we don't need to you know, go through all of this. But I would like to point a few, uh, a couple of them. The first one, 39% of all the carbon emissions are related to uh, building industry. And then 11% of the carbon emissions are related to embodied carbon, meaning materials and production related carbon uh, in construction industry. So that's kind of the carbon emission related figures in this, uh, in this uh, slide, on this slide. But what is also quite kind of interesting, if you can say so, with this topic, is, is the 50 percent. 50 percent of all the materials are used by construction industry. And actually, when we are talking about biodiversity loss, 90 percent of the biodiversity loss is related to material extraction. And 50 percent of all the materials are used by construction in industry. So we have uh, things to do. Uh, in symmetry, how we have started to approach this is that we have thought, uh, we've been thinking that how can we help, since we are very close to design process, how can we help designers with this challenge? Designers and in that, uh, from that side, how we can help construction projects with this challenge. And uh, we have investigated and we have, we have talked about embodied carbon. Number seems low here, element percent. But actually, when we are talking about the role of embodied carbon going forward, it is definitely increasing. That is thanks to renewable energy sources that are impacting positively, or let's say that those are decreasing the operative carbon, role of the operative carbon. Also, when we are talking about new buildings, those are energy efficient. The building performance is better and better all the time. So when we look at the new construction, 
new construction and we take the horizon of 10 or 20 years, actually the embodied carbon plays dominant role. So we cannot reach the targets, uh, 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 targets of uh, decarbonization if we don't have high focus on embodied carbon. And, and that's basically the target and the idea or, or the focus of, of symmetry uh, decarbonization strategy phase one. So basically, we want to help our customers of choosing uh, low carbon materials and in that way impact positively, op optimize the carbon footprint of the building. That's, uh, that, that's the specific focus area. But we cannot do that alone. We understand we cannot do that alone. That's why Eric is here. That's why we have technology partnership uh, with, uh, with OneClick LCA. Super important strategic partnership for us. We have reseller, we have authorized reseller, and actually with the exclusivity in the countries where we are in Autodesk Channel. But very importantly, we are also a technology partner that gives us access to their, uh, let's say, very massive material carbon database. So that we can use the material carbon database, what they have in one, one click LCA as part of our product offering. More about that later. We, have, we are also sustainability technology partners of, of Autodesk. But uh, that is. And, and we, are, we are working on, on several initiatives together with Autodesk, but it's too early to say more about that. So what we have in our hands uh, uh, here in the first stage is actually the first, first out of these three offerings that we have identified. So we are talking about life, uh, life cycle assessment pathway. Basically, it means building life cycle assessment and building, uh, building carbon optimization. That's our focus area at the moment. Related to that, now I will hand over the clicker to Eric, and you can talk now. Now I'm allowed. Now Thank I'm you, Mikko. Allowed. So now I will talk a little bit about carbon limits across different countries. And all the countries uh, that I will, you will see here today will have carbon limits in the near future. And we, if we look a little bit ahead in the time, then all countries in Europe is going to have carbon limits. So, um, all the countries here will or already have carbon limits for new constructions. And these are regulated and mandatory to follow. So, beginning from the left, in Sweden, we have already climate declaration as mandatory, and we expect to have carbon limits either 2025 or 2027. In Denmark, carbon limits already applies to buildings larger than 1,000 square meters. And in 2025, this will be applied to all buildings. And these limits will tighten over time. In Norway's climate declarations are already mandatory, and limit values are not yet applied, but will be soon. In Finland, in 2025, we will have carbon limits for new buildings, and the House of Commons in the UK are preparing um, climate declaration as we speak, but already the London plan requires uh, requires them. So, with so many different countries, you have different regulatory methods, you have different scope of calculations, and you have different data requirements. And I won't go through all of them, but I just want to point out that they are different and you need to follow them um, as they go in different countries. So, for example, in Sweden, we have Klimat Declaration, you have the scope of A1 to A5, and you need to use data from Boverket or EPD data. In Denmark, you need to use data from the government or you need to use EPD data. In Norway, you can use uh, any generic data or you can use EPD data, and so on and so forth. So all of them varies. The main message here is that one-click LCA supports all of these regulations. And, uh, Actually, not only all of these regulations, but any certification scheme that you want to be working with. So, which, um, which are the most important schemes to work with? In Sweden, you have the Climat Declaration, you have BM Sweden, and you have Milja Bignad. We support all of them. In Denmark, you have the um, uh, Klimakrav. We support it. 
In Norway, you have Tech, you have the NS3720, and you have the BREEAM Norway. We support all of them. In Finland, you have the government methodology. We support it. And finally, in the UK, you have RIGS, you have GLA, you have PAS2080, you have BREEAM UK, and you have SQL. And we support all of them. And if you want to learn more about construction carbon regulations in Europe, I really recommend you to read our report on this topic, where we review all of them and we share some best practices. And we are also um, giving recommendation to the Finnish government now, when they are setting their carbon limits for Finland. Um, so that's also something to look out for. Over to you. Okay, uh, a lot of important data. <clears throat> then when we look at the solutions uh, more, uh, more carefully, so this is very simplistically, you know, our decarbonization uh, framework or offering uh, in the first phase when it comes to symmetry. So we are talking about we have services and then we have the technology part. And, and then on the left, uh, low left corner, we are told, talking about building carbon optimization services and there we are actually uh, we're gonna, uh, well, we are in the process of building up a product to, to support that uh, 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 solution uh, called, uh, and, and the technology is called Navigate Zero. More about that again a bit later. Uh, then uh, we have building LCA uh, services, building life cycle assessment services, where we are relying on one click LCA, building LCA solution. So it's like, you know, uh, building carbon optimization, which is related mainly to the materials and, and construction. And, and then we have full blown uh, life cycle services based on one click LCA. Let's look at the one click LCA solution then a bit more deeper. I will hand over back to you, Eric. Thank you. So. One Click LCA is the leading construction and manufacturing LCA software. So we have clients in more than 140 different countries, and the software is supported by a staff of more than 130 experts. So with One Click LCA, you can compare different design options, and you can compare the impacts of different products. And you can do regulatory LCAs, you can do voluntary LCAs, you can do LCCs, life cycle costing, and you can do circularity assessment. So everything that you need. And I know that this is not a manufacturing event, but we know that a lot of you struggle with getting EPD data from your suppliers. And we are helping your suppliers and other manufacturers to create EPDs with our EPD generator. And we are very, very proud to having the world's largest LCA and EPD database in the world. And you might ask, why is this important? So if we are building a building here in Sweden, we can be pretty safe to say that the concrete that we procure is going to be manufactured here in Sweden. But looking at all of the different materials, all of the different products going into this building, it's pretty safe to say that we will have materials and products from dozens and dozens of countries. So you need global data, and we will provide you with global data. And um, we have tools, as we have said, for both regulatory uh, requirements, but also for voluntary schemes like BREEAM and LEED. And we actually have more than 60 plus tools uh, in this regard. And I think most of you know that early design matters. So why does early design matter? It's actually here where you have the largest potential to reduce carbon emissions in your projects. And that is why we developed Carbon Designer 3D, which is a tool for early designs. And with this tool, you can visualize carbon and identify carbon hotspots, areas where you want to work more on reducing carbon emissions. You can also make detailed comparisons between different design alternatives or different materials. And you can very, very quickly create variants of your designs to find the most optimal solution in your projects. So that is the early stage. 
later in your project, you have all your data in BIM softwares. And we support almost all BIM softwares. So for example, with Autodesk Revit, we have a seamless integration. We do support Autodesk platform services. If you're working with bill of quantities in spreadsheets, just upload them into our software and get your LCA results. If you're doing energy simulations, then you can use our integration with IES. Or if you're a civil engineer working on infrastructure product, I'm sure you're going to be happy to say that we're going to launch a new integration with Autodesk Civil 3D. Over to you. Thanks, Eric. A uh, couple more words about Navigate Zero. Uh, I don't want to uh, spoil uh, tomorrow's presentation where Jan Tour uh, is going to talk more about this in one of the breakouts. But basically, we are looking for Navigate Zero as a tool to integrate all uh, the carbon uh, uh, relevant, let's say, uh, uh, solutions or, or complexity as part of the design process, so that you have everything inside of Revit. What you need to do in order, uh, what you need to do in order to uh, uh, decarbonize uh, the construction. So uh, basically, from inside of the Revit, uh, you can access one-click LCA carbon material repository, uh, repository throughout the design process. So we have integrated that. Uh, uh, over there uh, by uh, Navigate Zero uh, to help you to make material, uh, informed material selections, to compare the material, to analyze, to make the calculations, and so on and so forth. Identify the carbon hotspots in the model, and, and then also access the carbon data as part of the BIM model, which we see as very valuable kind of extension to traditional, let's say, uh, Revit integrations. More about that uh, then uh, tomorrow. Uh, and uh, we are planning to have the first release out on June. We have also kind of the longer term plans uh, regarding this product and high expectations. Uh, so let's see how it goes. And most likely, we, we will talk a lot more about this next year in this same event. So we want to end up this uh, presentation today by summarizing with business benefits. You can take Eric that part. Thank you. So I think that we have concluded here today that carbon assessments will be regulated and it will be mandatory for you to make them. So now we have to think of how can we make them in a manner which is most beneficial for your business. And here I have really three different messages. So number one, you need to get compliant or you will go out of business. Simple as that. Compliance is coming soon. So getting ready and becoming efficient is essential for you. And with our integrations and our workflows, we will help you to scale your business. Second, you need to differentiate to win more contracts and more business. So we see that your client is already in the tendering phase, looking at sustainability issues. So how can you include sustainability in your tendering process? Well, with our tool, Carbon Designer 3D, you will get LCA results very, very quickly. And it's made for early stages. So already in the tendering phase, you can use Carbon Designer 3D. So this allows you to use get the LCA results you need and uh, be very efficient. And lastly, if you're going to work in many different countries, as you have seen, you will need to get all your results in different formats. You need to use different data for the calculations. You have different scopes and so on and so forth. But with one click LCA, you use the same data to get the results in any format that you need them. So with one click LCA, you will have one single source of truth. And that's it. So thank you very much. Thank you.